In this tutorial, we're gonna make the contents of this column right here sticky. So when we scroll, they follow us down the page, as you can see right here, and they stop at the bottom of the column. And so we're gonna do that in this tutorial. And this video is part of the Elementor Skills playlist on this channel. It's linked to in the description down below. If you wanna up your Elementor Skills, make sure you check out that playlist. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below as well. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. This headline and this text right here, I wanted to follow us down as we scroll past this bottle of what I think is sake, might not be, but in this example, we're gonna say it is because it's the best sake in town or sake. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that, but either way, we want these to be sticky and follow us down. Now, if we click on the column and go to advanced, go to motion effects, we don't have the option for sticky. So we can't make the entire column sticky, but we can make these two elements sticky and have them both come down at the same rate. So to do that, we click on the element, we go to advanced and we go to motion effects and you have a sticky option right here. I change this to top. I'm gonna to give an offset of 30 pixels and the sticky options are only available on Elementor Pro. But now when I scroll down, we have our title following us down the page, 30 pixel gap between the top of the browser and the top of the title. And it scrolls right past the end of the column, which is not what we want in this example. So we turn on the toggle, stay in column. Now when we scroll, it stops at the end of the column and that's perfect. But we have this text that's not coming along with us. And we want to click on that and go to its advanced settings and motion effects, turn sticky onto the top. And we have to give it a very specific offset. The offset is the distance between these two plus the offset we have set for the headline. So if I scroll, we see the headlines where we want it and the other one is sticky right to the top of the browser. That's not where we want it. If we make this 30, which was the same as our headline, then we see they're in the same spot. Also not what we want. So we have to do a little trial and error. Let's make this 40 and see if that's right. We see if the title moves with our description not moving at the exact same time, it's not right. Let's make this 60. We see they're still moving the title which is fine, you can have this be a, a cool effect if you want. If you wanna change that spacing, if you want the spacing the same, we gotta find the exact amount. That's pretty close. I think it's probably 78. There we go. Now it's the exact same. Now when we scroll down, we see they both scroll with us. And that one follows us all the way down the page again because we didn't turn on stay in column. Let's turn on stay in column and they both stop at the bottom. Now I haven't found a way to make it so they don't overlap at the bottom. There's no bottom offset setting. You could use some custom CSS if you wanted, but I also don't feel like it's the biggest deal if they collapse together at the bottom. So I'm okay with that. But I'm sure if you Google it, you can find some custom CSS where it'll allow you to keep it like this and they stop here if you keep on scrolling rather than overlapping like this but I'm fine with how it is. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you wanna check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. So check out that playlist if you wanna level up your Elementor skills. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy through that link, I do get a commission, and it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me, and that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. And next up, check out the Elementor Skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your Elementor Skills will be increased. So if you wanna get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, Click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.